Okay, so welcome to linuxend.com. In this video, we are going to talk about that how to take screenshots on your terminal. So using your terminal, first of all, you could ask if using your terminal, taking screenshots are possible or not. So yes, it is possible. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So there are several ways of taking screenshots on your Ubuntu screen and I'm going to show you one specific way and uh, <clears throat> excuse me the, that one specific way is by using image magic okay this is a library which is available that you can install so let's go ahead and let's start and let's see that how we can do it so first of all we've got to open up our terminal we could press ctrl alt t all of you know it uh, if you've been watching a uh, Linux Hint uh, channel for a while. So once you have opened up your terminal, so now what you're going to do is you are going to um, type in here a few things. Okay. So the first thing that you're going to do is that you are going to install the library, the package, which we, uh, which we will use to take, take the screenshot. So there is not only one specific way to take a screenshot, there are several different ways. So uh, I'm using just one specific way. You can use Genom or you can even you take screenshots directly by pressing the print screen button. But the purpose of making this video is to make you familiarize that you can actually take a screenshot from the terminal. Okay, so we are going to install our package. So the package name is image magic. So first of all, we are going to update our repository, the package that we've got, and then we're going to install it. So let's go ahead and let's sudo apt get update. Okay, so we hit enter. So when we hit enter, so it asks us for the password. So now we're, we are going to give the password. The password is, you know, I put in my password and it starts to update it right all right so once it has been updated so now what you've got to do is you have to install uh, the package okay so the package name is image magic and uh, uh, pretty much you're going to install it in a way that you install other packages right so the syntax is going to be same you're going to write here sudo apt get and then you're going to write here install and then you're going to write here the package name which is image magic in our case okay so you hit enter and it goes along with it. I have already installed it, so it hasn't taken a while. But I think if you are installing it for the first time even, it is not going to take that much time because it is a very uh, short, uh, very small software, okay? So that's why it would take short time. So once you have installed it, so now what you're gonna do is that you are going to take, write a few commands using which you're going to install it okay so the next command that I'm gonna write here is let me just clear the terminal okay so once I clear the terminal what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write here a command right here import and then I'm gonna write here window so basically the screenshot now I'm gonna take using the command line prompt uh, I'm gonna take the screenshot of full screen okay so this is the way you take the screenshot of a full screen if you want to. So you, you write here root, which essentially defines that you're going to take the screenshot of the whole screen. So then after that, you're going to write the file name that you want to give it to the screenshot image. Okay. So essentially, we we'll give it a name as like screenshot, let's say. Uh, so the file, the screenshot is going to be saved inside our present directory. So our current directory is our home directory. Okay, so we know that, right? So le let me uh, ls first here. So you can see that these are all the files and folders which are already available in, our, in my home directory. Okay, so once... I have got here now what I'm gonna do that I'm gonna write here the command to take the screenshot so I'll write here import and then I'll write here window and then I'll write here root 
and then I will write here the file name which is essentially screenshot okay so screenshot.png I hit enter and it takes a while and you can see that it hasn't given any sort of error or any, anything so now uh, if we do ls again you can see that there we have an image screenshot.png okay so now we have taken the screenshot of the whole screen and if we go back here uh, to our folder and uh, if we open this file you could see that here we have the screenshot okay so now what if we want to take the screenshot of a specific window so there are basically two ways one is that you can put in the id of that specific window and the other way is that you can basically select like either you select a window or you could select a region or whatever whatever area you will select it will take the screenshot of that okay so now what we are going to do that we are going to do that thing that we are going to select a region we'll do that using terminal and we're going to take a screenshot of it okay so how do we do that so we go back to our terminal and inside of our terminal we are going to write here import and now the file name the screenshot name uh, so we have screenshot so let's say this time we write here screenshot 2.png okay so you see here when we hit enter it is just you know it is stopped there it is not doing anything but you if you see if you take a look at the cursor it has become something like this it means now you can select okay so now you are going to select a window a region whatever uh, region you will select it will take the screenshot of that so for example uh, let's say that I don't want to select this terminal whole window I select half of this terminal window and I select half of this window okay I hit something like this and you can see that it has basically it is being done okay so if I go back here uh, if I ls here you can see that I have screenshot 2 and uh, if I go to the folder, you can see that we have screenshot2.png, okay? So that's how basically you take a screenshot of a specific region. My, um, I think I have clicked too much. That's why it was showing up something like this. But when you will do it, you will see that it is showing you the region, okay? What Whatever specific region that you will select. So now the final uh, way of taking a screenshot is by you know you'll give the id of the window that you want to take the specific window screenshot you'll get it okay so the way to do that is that you basically write a very simple command and that is uh, we go back to our terminal we clear it and in here what we're going to do that we write here import and then we write here window and then we write here window ID, which as of now, we do not know what is the window ID of let's say terminal. We don't know that, right? So window ID, and then obviously you would write the screenshot file name, you know, 3.png, let's say, okay? So the command is complete, but there is one thing that we don't know. We don't know the ID of the window. So let's say if I want to take the screenshot of terminal, terminal window I don't know the ID so in order to know the ID what you've got to do is that you've got to write a very simple command which is X win info okay you hit enter so now it says that please select the window uh, about which you would like information by clicking the mouse in that window so let's say um, I want to take screenshot of this window okay so I click it and I've got all the information about this window okay in the terminal so now what I'm gonna do now this is the ID basically the ID of the window is this so I'm gonna copy this ID and I'm gonna use it to take the screenshot of this window so I'll clear it okay so once I have cleared it now I'm gonna do what that I'm gonna write the same command that I've shown you import hyphen window and then you're gonna write here the window ID uh, in our case it's this one zero cross or zero x two eight 
00007. Okay, uh, so you have written down the ID. So now you'll give the file name. Okay, so we go ahead, we write here the file name. The file name is essentially, let, let's say we give it like screenshot3.png. Okay, so we hit enter and you can see that um, as soon as it completes, uh, we have a screenshot here, but you can see that the screenshot is of just one specific window with uh, the ID that we have mentioned. Okay, so I hope you have got the point here. So there are other ways to take the screenshots as well. This is the most optimized way. I really liked it. Hope you have liked it too. For written articles, keep visiting our website linuxin.com. Until next video, I will see you.